Okay, hey guys. Today we are going to discuss about the tip three problem, number of simple paths. Now we have been given an undirected graph that consists of n vertices and n edges, and the given graph is connected. Now looking at this statement, we should uh, realize that uh, if a graph has n vertices and n minus one edges, then that is basically a tree now since it has n edges then uh, there should be one and only one cycle in the graph so let me just show you uh, the visual representation so suppose this is a graph with n vertices and n edges so uh, you can see here there is a cycle okay so far so good now we what we need to do is we need to calculate number of simple paths that have length at least one and we have also been given that uh, the paths like the paths which differ only by the direction are same which means one to three and three to one are same uh, okay so far so good now so let us now analyze if what would happen if there was basically a tree like there was an n minus 1 edges how many paths we would have got so in this case i know that from each no vertices i can go to i can find a path which moves to each and every vertices that is So suppose we have basically n edges, then n vertices in a tree, then the total number of paths will be uh, that I have n choices for selecting any vertices, and from that vertex I can have n minus one paths. Uh, as such, there are n minus one remaining vertices, so there will be n into n minus one paths. Now in the given question. the path which have same direction so suppose i have uh, to travel from 1 to 4 and the path is given by 1 2 3 4 in a tree then path from 4 to 1 will be exact the reverse that is 4 3 to 1 so for every vertex i will have basically double the answer which i do not want to consider which i want to consider only a single time so i have to divide this answer by half so my current answer for a tree with n vertices and n minus 1 edges would have been n into n minus 1 by 2 now let us see what happens if we introduce a cycle so suppose there is a cycle between 2 to 3 now as I, as we discussed suppose the path from 5 to 4 was initially Five uh, before the cycle, let's say. So before the cycle was present, then the path was five, two, one, three, four. But if I introduce a cycle, then that path will remain the same, but it has introduced another path, which is from five to three, four. So here we can analyze that uh, that uh, basically. the tree formed by a vertex which is present on the cycle so suppose there uh, let's modify this tree a little bit suppose we had this tree and then basically what we can visualize is see suppose uh, the basically this tree which is which has a root as a vertex of a cycle and the remaining part consists of uh, basically its children so suppose this is a tree then it will basically add uh, each new path from e from a vertex from this tree to all the other vertices uh, let's see what i mean by that so suppose there are x vertices in the cycle then for each vertices basically for in this case one for each one two a tree basically suppose uh, the count of a tree is ct here in which so suppose for 3 for the vertex 3 this is 
basically it consists of one two three element so this will constitute an answer as 3 into n minus 3 which means from 3 there will be an, an extra bath from 1 that is initially it was from 3 to 1 only but after an, uh, introduce induction of this cycle uh, this path this cycle it has basically 3 to 1 and that is another path so for every vertex it will have a one uh, one different path a different path so from 3 it will be a new path from all these three vertices similarly for 4 and 6 so this is basically understandable now uh, what i have done is basically here also one more observation is there that uh, suppose there is a path from 3 to 1 as i said there is another path from 3 to 1 but if when i will calculate for 1 i will i will basically stuck to the same path that is from 1 to 3 will be exactly the reverse of the path from 3 to 1 so i have basically into i have been adding my answer twice so i have to divide by 2 2 so now let me walk through the code uh, the code is very simple but it just requires a little bit of understanding so i have adjacency list i have a parent array which stores the parent of the node i have boolean arrays basically an own cycle which represents basically a node is the part of the cycle or node uh, a vector array cycle which basically contains all the nodes of the cycle and and resultant array uh, resultant integer variable that i will uh, inform you so this is a code basically this is a tfs and it is a very uh, standard code for injecting a cycle so suppose so let me just move through initialize code so there so first we basically accept an integer n then we initialize for the pass of all a function initialize n which basically does these things and then i will build a graph and i will call dfs for the first node so what it does is it will mark the, the current node as true then it will traverse all its children node no. now if child equal to equal to parent now this is the standard code as i said but i will just again repeat that so if child is equal to equal to parent which means it is a direct parent like from one to two and then i have encountered two uh, the children of two as one so it is the direct parent and which means there is a cycle of two and in my case i will need at least cycle which consists of at least three nodes so cycle of two does not concern me so i will continue now if the child is not visited then basically what i will do is i will uh, mark my current node as the parent of this child and i will call tfs uh, okay and if the child is visited then basically i have found a cycle because it wasn't its direct parent then it must be have been and any ancestor if it was not for one it wasn't a three then it must be have been basically two which means uh, there is a cycle from one basically i had found this and now i have found a back edge so now what i need to do is now i need to construct my build my cycle array which can basically which will contain all the cycle vertices so what i'll do is basically i will mark current as my node then suppose it was one then what I'm going to do is I'm going to push one into my cycle array. I will mark current as my one's parent, which is three. Then I will uh, push three in my current array. I will mark two as my current because it's parent of three. Then I will push two in my current array and I will mark current as my parent of two, which is one. Now basically I have made this condition that is current child will be equal to current, so this will uh, break out and i have been basically i have constructed a cycle array which basically consists of all which contains all the vertices which are part, part of cycle so i initially my answer as n into n minus one as we have discussed which is in the case of tree now for now i will now i have basically marked visited arrays false and now uh, again i have basically for i have marked each element which is present on cycle as true now what i'll do is for every element of the cycle what i need to do is i need to find the size of this tree and my simply my answer will be if size of trees count then my i have to add my answer as count into n minus n minus count which we have discussed earlier so for that purpose i have marked a uh, result as one which is basically vertex of the 
directly this desk which is on the cycle. Now what I am going to do is I am going to traverse for each child of this node and we know that the children of this 3 are 4, 6, 1 and 2 but I need to consider only 4 and 6. So what I will do is I will see if my child is present on the cycle or not. If it is not then I will basically uh, call my DFS which is uh, which does nothing but which does nothing but uh, increases my answer by one. So in that way I will calculate this after uh, basically calculating for OSK turn I will add this into my answer and finally my answer will be an, uh, total answer divided by 2. So that is all uh, in this video I will attach this code in the description. Thank you so much for watching.